Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome everyone. Really need to work, but hey. Girls got a game, right? Yes, while everyone's gathering, I'll just play some Hearthstone and then I'll show you my game. I'm very, very proud of it. I managed to do a few nice animations and you are able to actually finish the game and reach like the top of the structure. It's gonna be all sweet. And also, also I have planned to do, um, well, to show you one more game and that is going to be from from one of my students which is exciting it's gonna be like a gravity game type of a thing so i'll show you those besides that we're just gonna chill right where's my let's do this let's do that and this, perfect. So this is just gonna be me messing about, not really getting anything done. Oof. If you're scared that this is gonna be <laughs> this is not gonna be a grasshopper tutorial channel anymore well you should be because it's not gonna be a grasshopper tutorial channel said that i will be teaching grasshopper um i will be showing grasshopper from time to time but we will let's just say spread our wings and try to try try to be as as um open as possible to all different ways of how you can create geometry and play around with geometry that is what's gonna happen these demons dragons max more locks okay i haven't played with elise for a while might as well a card game and then let's play the uh, a proper game that i've made it's probably is very loud for you let me just should be better right all right it's pretty good Oh yeah, and I should probably write a note or something for newcomers that this is not what we're going to be doing in this stream. <laughs> there we go. Any defeat that, doesn't destroy you that should be better. Hmm? Ooh, this is interesting. Can we afford that? We should do this first. Hmm. Nice work out there. 
Keep up the pressure. Okay, now this is where it gets messy, huh? What can we do? Upgrade, sell one by one, maybe. Seems to be stupid. Next one is gonna be two and... Yeah, let's do it this way. It's not there we the go. Strongest, but it'll fight hard. Do I roll? Do I roll? No, I don't. We're losing a lot of gold, but this is the play. You're doing great out there. This was not the play. <laughs> is this your game? No, it's, this is not my game. I'm warming up. My game is gonna be better. Keep up the pressure. Hmm. Okay, let's just be strong this this round. Let's just be strong, and then we'll hyper level. No, no, I just. Uh, I started today without any intro, without any kind of downtime for people to gather. So I, I just figured that I will, you know, play one round of Hearthstone to, you know, while, while I wait for, for the community to gather. And then I'll, I'll, I'll open up mine. My little bunny rabbit climbing game. Oh god damn it. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a loss. A pretty strong one as well. Pretty big one I mean as well. Yikes. It's gonna hurt. Fresh recruits for you. That ain't too bad, but hmm, I'm not doing that. Let's do this instead. You down a minion and up a goal. Seems like the graphics cards are declining in price. It looks like there is a pretty good kind of. Like there are pretty good deals for for graphics cards these days. So are we finally? Is is the chip shortage finally over? Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that seems to be pretty good. Yeah. Maybe this is a good good time to buy a computer. Hmm. Alright. Okay, what do we have here? Um, do I still keep leveling or do I... Need to kind of use these, right? 
three, sell one. That that won't work. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. This is very good. Let's do that. Uh, ew. Um, just stats. Let's just get stats on the board. Actually, let's kill that. Let's just get this and freeze. <clears throat> That's the game plan. One, one thing, one thing, if someone wants any kind of a tutorial or has any questions about what I showed in the channel, um, you can go ahead and ask here in the chat or if you're using, you know, or you, if you're using, if you're viewing this after the recording, um, then just write a comment. Um, asking for stuff I always read always reply Seems like we won't be playing this for long. <laughs> I've got some fresh recruits for you. Hmm. Do we upgrade first? Yeah, we do, don't we? Let's do this. Ah, made a mistake. That's fine. Should be good. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the chillest stream out there. <laughs> Just some Monday shenanigans. I have to work, but goddamn, I really, really don't wanna. It's such a nice weather out, and the sun is shining. And no, I'm not. I'm not gonna work. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> A long time viewer and a subscriber. N now we're a gaming channel. From now on, we're a gaming channel. We're not gonna do any design work anymore. It's um, just a few more months and I'll start doing Minecraft speedruns. And I'll play some sort of GTA 5 mod. Well, I joke around, but actually, actually, I have been looking into buying a VR headset. I just, I don't know anything about VR headsets, so it's very hard for me to choose what would be the most suitable one for, you know, architectural, not design, but like presentations and visualizations and so on. If anyone has a clue, um, as to what kind of VR headsets are the best these days. Bang for the buck, so, so to say. Let me know, please. Because that would be a pretty cool thing to add to the channel, I think. Tutorials on how to design for VR. 
Okay, let's do let's do some leveling up. Sell one. Buy one. Get a goldie boy. Slap it on here. Now this is a big boy. And let's get ooh, okay. So I didn't get what I wanted. So we're probably not gonna be running dragons. This is a little bit too early for the queen. The Mur Murloc is pretty good, but I don't have Bran. But I'm on, on five, so I might get a Bran. Bran. Um, also, I have a Discover for possible Bran. So then Murlocs would be very good. Or maybe I want to play Goldron. Let's YOLO Goldron, because it's I, I feel like that's that's a better viewing experience. Probably Oculus Quest 2, huh? Okay. No 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 oh. Oculus Quest 2. Let me Google that bad boy. This one? It's wireless, isn't it? Looks wireless. I've got some fresh recruits for you. Huh. Uh, wait. Game. Game more important than VR. Um. No, 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 no. What do we do? What do we do? We discover. Yes. Exactly what I want. More. Shit. Uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Out of here, nothing's good. Nothing's good. Mama Bear is very good. Okay. How do we play this? I'll need this. <clears throat> I won't need this. I will need the Mama Bear. I will not need... Actually... That's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Let's mm, one, two, three. I could do it now. Do we do it now? Let's do it now. Two, three. Let's just give this divine shield. Okay. Back to talking about Oculus. Um, Oculus Quest. <clears throat> Amir, hi, good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, Amir. Are you working from home? Yeah, today I am. Today I am. Never had one before, but I've seen some architects use it. Oculus is the most popular one, I guess. It can be run tethered and untethered, but the downside is that it's Facebook. <laughs> Ex expand on that please uh what, what's 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 bad with meta or, or facebook whatever Have a good battle, friend. looks very good and it's not that bad i mean i i thought that it's gonna be much more uh, expensive did it force you into some sort of a proprietary software and and so on or Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So, we will play. <laughs> I, I just literally... Jesus Christ. Top 8. Top 8. Uh, what, what a start to the day. What a start to the day. Okay, let's quit that. Let's let's check this out though. This seems interesting. Da, da, 
overview internal space wait so the apps are running from the how does this work damn i will need to read up on this quite quite a bit 860 grams that seems fine okay so you get these kind of two doodads here and these two doodads probably have wait shit um do you also need like the 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 the, <clears throat> the sensors that slap on the um the the, the corners of the room because i saw i saw vive i think that had these kind of a sensors or does this one scan the room um because i i can see like these these cameras here so does this one just like map out the room in which you are in and knows the boundary or do you need like the you know what i mean the doodads the doohickeys uh, on the corners it can map the room okay so this is very nice oculus huh oculus quest 2 And the storage, what is the storage used for? Standalone VR headset. Oh, you don't, you do not need a computer to connect to or cables to trip over. I'm confused. So does, does this, does this mean that the Oculus Quest has the like processing power power enough to to run games? God damn the future is now. Okay. Sure. Um, I, I'll probably get this one and start developing um, a course um, around virtual reality and architecture. Because that seems fun. That seems fun. Speaking of developing stuff, let's take a gander. Let's take a quick little gander at a game that I made. And for this, we will need to do that now we do this then i need to actually turn this off there we go i do need to turn on the music i need to move myself here something like that and that should be that. Oh, no, no, no. And also I need this. This is going to be our, our speedrun thing. Yeah. Here's the game. How's the sound? If it's too low or too high, let me know. Or actually I can test by myself as well. very low okay let's make it louder now it's too loud let's make it quieter okay now it's good imagine it being like a smartphone strapped to your head but it can also uh, be used with a computer but has to be connected to your PC for that okay gotcha so basically it's yeah for for a game like this you need to strap it strap it to the PC but for something simple you don't gotcha so we start our journey with this little 
pretty giraffe toy here. Or rather, we start our journey in this egg. An egg in which we in which we live. This is our little home. And we step out and there is this little giraffe right here. And we can... Yep. Okay, I didn't code in the co collision <laughs> with the giraffe. So we don't step on the giraffe. But we're happy. It's a giraffe and it makes us go outside and explore the world. And this is our world. And you can see in the top left corner there is um, percentage a percentage of how much of of a level we have explored or not explored how close are we to the finish and if i step on this you can see the percentage increases right and then if i step on this the percentage the percentage increases even more right so we know that we need to go up 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 we go we're at one percent one hundredth of a way there in the bottom left corner you will see a speed running kind of table thing what what are those called like splits speed running splits every ten percent i will i will do a split and the task today is not going to be beat my record because i don't have a record here but the task is going to be to just see how long does it take are there any instances where it's impossible uh to to go through and yeah basically just to have fun along the way um let's restart the the game And also, I'll, I'll just make it a bit louder. Because I want to hear it as well. Oh yeah, and the music is uh, done by my friend, uh, Donatas Bielinskis. Um, Alright. R to restart. <clears throat> let's, let's try this out. So, go up. I do read chat as well, just so you know. I do read chat. We go there. Ah! Immediately drops to the... Yeah, it, this is gonna be like Jump King level of frustration type of a game. I see that there is like a, a, an opening. I'll, I'll, I'll use that to climb up. Hi, Eliadis. Hello. And I'm um, happy to hear that you enjoy the tutorials. There's gonna be much, much more of those. I would like uh, for stuff that I do to be considered more like courses rather than tutorials. somehow I kind of want to go there that seems like a cool place because I wonder how can we climb up as I was testing this uh, before the stream you know during develop during development uh, I managed to get to the uh, 50 52 percent and then I wanted to eat so I gave up You can see I have some animations co uh, animations coded in, like the climbing animation here, <clears throat> and the jumping animation. There's also like the idle animation and the walking animation, right? Oh crap! I forgot to start the the timer. Okay, shit. Now, now, now we begin. Uh, timer starts now. Now. Timer doesn't start. Okay. Why does timer not start? Now. There we go. 
Where, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn. Now we climb up. Climb up, up, up. Hello, Thomas. No. I think I dropped into the same hole last time. Okay, let, let, let's go this way. Oh, by the way, I tested this game. 20% fog. Uh, I tested this game on my laptop as well. Uh, GTX 1650 um, thin notebook. And it ran at 40 frames per second, which I would argue is reasonable. Like 40, 40, 50 frames per second is okay. Uh, so it's not like you can only run this game on, you know, RTX 3080 Ti or some, some, something like that. <gasps> Ooh, I kind of want to go there. That seems like a cool place. Okay, 3%. Okay, climb up, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's the objective of the game? Go up, climb up, reach the top. If you reach the top, the top left corner is gonna say 100% uh, and then you can say that you've beat the game. Um, and the top is pretty high up, so we need to Oh, shit, which one is the... No, no, no! <laughs> Almost did the Teletubby thing. Um, okay, so this one is the dead end. This whole area is a dead end, meaning I need to get into this part of the mega structure. Um, so let's just do that. And not drop into any holes. Right. Jump in here. Um, jump. Oh my god, jump. Okay. Okay, okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. 6%. 6.97%. Yes, 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 we're, we're doing this, we're doing this. 8. 8%. 9%. Is this gonna be our first? Oh my god. Um... Oh, I need to get there. I need to get there. Um... Let's try getting there from from here. Nine, ten percent. Okay, ten percent, and we do this, and then we continue. Three minutes to to get to ten percent. So if we keep up the pace, it's going to be... Um, how, how long is it? It's going to be 30 minutes, right? 10 times 3. Yeah, 30 minutes to beat the game. RTX on. No, there's. this is not with RTX. This is Lumen. So RTX off, actually. I don't... Uh, I can't teach. Uh, like graphics with RTX on because that would require students to have RTX cards and I, I, I mean I that that is prohibitively ex expensive these days oh my god we're almost at 20% this is easy this is too easy we'll need to build a harder level this is like the first time trying it out. Okay, 20%. There we go. Um, that. 420 as well. 427 actually. Okay, so we reach this, this part of the mega structure. And now we have options. So there is like an area there. Um, that that we could use, but I feel like I need to go to the right. Whoa, that was weird. Oh no no no! no. <sighs> feel like I need to go to the right though. Let's take a look. Um, 
So where the hell am I? That seems like it goes up quite a bit. But there is stuff above me as well. So I'm gonna, yeah, I, I'm just gonna try to, to, to go up here somehow. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there is something there. Don't fall, don't fall. If we fall, it's game over. You can fall through these, by the way. Guess we need to go there, huh? Oh, by the way, um, this game, this whole game, um, guess in the chat how how heavy it is in terms of gigabytes. Like how how, how much space does this whole game require? I will wait for at least one guest to to uh, to say the actual size, because it's you know th this is a pretty big level, right? Thirty percent reach. That's correct. Um, Thirteen gigabytes. Shoot. Okay, almost dropped through the hole. Don't drop. Six gigabytes. Okay. Anyone else wanna wanna guess? Oh, there's a there's a window there. Let's see. We're pretty high up. Thirteen gigs, six gigs. Two hundred twenty megabytes, by the way. Full game. When I say that I'm optimizing the these structures. Yeah, it's procedurally generated, but it's also heavily like blocked out and like the whole workflow is very, very um, optimized. So it's 220 megabytes. And you know the, the, the funny part about it? The character is 80 megabytes. Meaning that the rest of it, only the bunny rabbit is 80 megabytes. Meaning that the rest of the level is, uh, including the engine itself, is what? Uh, quick math. 160? Two, no. 140. 140. 140 megs. There are photos that are heavier than this game. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with how well Unreal Engine uh, packages things and how well it compresses things. Okay, we are at 47 and I forgot to press the, the button. Yeah, yeah, 40... <laughs> Uh, people are telling me to to press it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pressing it Where the hell am I? Uh, I guess we just keep going right Let's press the 50% button on time
15. Okay. Alright, so this seems like a dead end, but it also seems like a pretty area, so I, I will go there to just check it out. The sun is shining, it's all nice. God rays are there. Textures 8K or 4K? Uh, 4K. 4K. The, the concrete texture is 2K. The stencil texture is eight uh, is four K and the bunny rabbit is eight K. The the rabbit texture is the character texture. I mean, is eight K. Um, so that's a, that's a dead end problem. Okay, so the ceiling is bad. Uh, wh wh what's that? Do we? Okay, so we have right, option to go right or option to go left. Um, let me just check out left for, for just a tiny bit. Because right seems to be very hard to access. And I don't remember, like there was one place where I had to put down a platform. Um, and I don't rem <laughs> I mean, I don't remember. Um... There is a possibility to go up there. Shh. Don't fall. We're by the way 500 meters above the our starting point. Like the percentage, like the whole structure is one kilometer high. So it's pretty easy to understand how high up we are. Okay, up there's no way that I'm climbing there, right? No, I'm not get, getting to there. Okay, 50% is a tough, tough area. Shit. Um, oh, man. Okay, so that's impossible to reach. There is something there. Wait, let's, let's see. Okay, now I'm lost in here. Okay, there is like an opening there, but then it becomes super... Like where, where my head is right now. That opening. There where the character said is um but above it it's just vertical so i won't be able to climb up so that's a no-go then there are these things here but they are almost free flowing so i can't use these so i need to okay so i i don't think the right hand side was was the correct play I think the left hand side, or wait, left left hand side was not the correct play. It sh I should have went to the right. Um, and now I'm very very low. Oh, I, I think it's there. I think it's there. No, don't drop. I think it's there. Oh, by the way, this hole right here, right? I can drop through this hole. It's it's possible for me to drop through here. So I'm 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 trying to be very very careful with it okay so yeah this seems like it's it's a way of how to to go up let's tr shit let's try this huh oh yeah 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 see that um again where my head is see that um white platform there this is where i added the platform as i was flying about in the creator uh, because i saw that there was no way to on how to get there i still have no idea if it's possible to use the platform but i just added it for uh you know to 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 for this to work okay i just dropped down oh my god let's try this is gonna be okay so this is gonna be like the run ender type of a thing huh are we able to jump on that the answer is no okay we're not gotcha 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 so if we're not able to jump on that what do what the hell do we do <clears throat> Mm, 
Do I need to... Perhaps I need to... No, I can't climb there. So I need to actually do this. Oh my god, this is scary. Go up here. Jump on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing this, we're doing this. Slowly, don't mess up. Yes, okay. Oh man. Um, what now? <laughs> what now? Um, I need to probably jump on that ledge, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I'm sweating here. I'm sweating here. 50% is... Yeah, 0-2 modules are, 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 are helping out quite a bit now. Okay, so I need to jump on that one now, yeah? Okay, that's easy. And I, I just jump? Stupid ass game bullshit. Fucking... Okay. Okay. Should design... At least now we know what to do. We know what to do. This is... yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, wait, I'm... Am I there? No, I'm not there, huh? Wait, can I go there? No, I can't, it's just hanging. Perhaps it's possible to just... No, it's impossible to climb there. Oh my god, it's so... So bad. Long strafe jump. Just strafe, man. Lol. Just strafe. Easy. Okay, so we know this. We know to... That we need to do the... This. And you definitely need more speed than that. Okay, let's go back. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this until I, I do it. Because I know that it's possible. Don't worry about it. Okay, we go up. Jump here. Easy. Gamer, gamer mode. Gamer mode. Engage. Gamer mode. We jump here. We get bumped. Fuck. We drop. Almost fell through. That's good. That's good. Oh, man. So close. Hecka bunny has come far. Yeah. I am lost. I don't know where the platform is. I found the platform. Come on, come on, come on. Just, okay, just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, that's good. That's good. From here, from here. Kobe, yep, there we go. Easy. Almost. Yep. Easy, easy, easy. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. <sighs> don't choke. Don't, don't, don't you dare choke. Come on. Can we change movement setting in this? Uh, what, what kind of changes would you like for for the movement setting? Um, okay, don't choke. Just, just jump on it. Just jump on it. Don't jump anywhere else, but on it. On the white spot, you can do this. Easy, 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 easy. There we go. There we go. Easy game, easy game. Okay, so I need to get on that little platform right there, where my head is. That little platform. 
Oh, this is cool. Cool screenshot. Cool screenshot moment. Uh, wait. There we go. Just made, made the screenshot. Um, okay, so I need to jump on that little platform. And it should be enough for me to just... Yeah! There we go. Easy. Easy game. First try. I just keep going. N not a big deal. They don't struggle. Still re-watching day three of Mecha Bunny? Oh, well. Good, good. Uh, create your own. Create your own. Mark Zuckerberg. Ma not Mark Zuckerberg. What's his name? Oh my god. Zuckerberg, doesn't matter. Facebook guy. Um, he's gonna make sure that Metaverse is real and that it happens. Uh, so might as well start creating your own avatars right now. <laughs> you know, for the Zoom meetings and whatnot. Okay, we're, we're, we're up. We're up on the... It's 58%. Uh, <clears throat> again, struggling to see where... Oh, that seems like a nice... Okay, let, let, let's go there. Let's go there. <clears throat> don't fall. Don't you dare fall. Oh my god. Don't, don't you... Don't you dare. Okay. That's good. We're outside now, apparently. From here I can see... Oh, okay. Alright, so I do need to go here. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, we're at 60%. Can I can press the button. 60%, done. 22 minutes. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. Probably bad. Um... Okay, so I do need to drop down here. And then we just climb up, right? Should be easy. Oh man. Yeah. Struggle, struggle. So, wait, uh, can we change? Uh, what I mean that if we increase the in intensity of the jump, then it will become a little easier. Yeah, but. Well, actually, no, because then you would keep bumping your head into stuff and that would just launch you in a different direction. Uh, so it's it's a very kind of... you need to, to be very, very precise with, with how high people can jump in a game. Um, do we get back into the mega structure? Eh. Eh. Come on. Eh. So close. Eh. Eh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Eh. eh. Okay, good, 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 good. Easy. Easy game. Um, and I will make it so that the... I will make a, a, a competition out of it. So everyone will be able to play the game and who beats my score. Um, my speedrunning score. Uh, is going to get a t-shirt or something like that. I think that's only fair. Right? And I'll send you the t-shirt, of course. I need to figure out what kind of t-shirt. Probably something that is gonna be... You know, passive-aggressive angry. Because I need... I, you're forcing me to buy a t-shirt for you, but... Uh, we'll see. So keep an eye out for a video about this. Okay, how the hell? Oh my god, that's just a wall. But that's not a wall. We can get there. Thanks so much for taking this project so far. Hey man, we're, we're, we're just getting started. 
You think this is the only character that that's gonna be in the game? You think the game is not gonna be VR set? <laughs> we're, we're, this is gonna be a virtual experience speedrunning, climbing, parkour game with proper animations that are not made by me. Uh, I will get a person involved who actually knows how to... Uh, God damn it, this is a dead end. Um, well, crap. Okay, we need to go back. This is a dead end. I'm gonna get a professional uh, animator involved, so you, you know, you, you won't need to deal with the... with seeing this kind of animations. Whew. But that's later, that's, that's much later. Ooh, this seems promising or not really? No, not promising, not, not at all. I need to climb up, 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 up we go. 68% need to go even higher. Higher. But this is like the ceiling. So even if I go up on the ceiling, it won't do anything to me. I need to find a place where it's not a ceiling. And I don't think that it's in this area. So let's jump here. Okay, so it's not there, not there. This is just the whole thing that is closed off, isn't it? I'm gonna cry. Um, okay, we need to go down then. Okay, do we go even further down? I'll go here just to check. Where the hell do I need to... Where the hell do I need to go? Maybe Mecha Bunny t-shirt? Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh. Okay, so it's not here. It's that. I need to go there. Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. We just go there. We just go there. Um, we, we will need to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well, actually, it's not that bad. We don't need to drop down that, that much. And then, once I enter the structure, it's on the right-hand side, right? So we just do that. Easy. Back to 60%. Um, sure. Why not? Does anyone know... Um, manga called Blame or Blam um, like Japanese manga uh, by Tsutomu Nihei say yes in the chat if you know it if you don't I will start showing you pictures <laughs> pictures of it okay so again wait it feels like I've been here Mark knows it, of course Mark knows it. I trust Mark. Not yet. Um, okay, let, let me... How do you pause this? Wait, 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 wait. give me a second, give me a second. Uh, edit, no, not that. Settings, yeah, like that. Um, pause is scroll, okay. We, we pause this for a bit because it's important. Come on. Okay. Um, this, this manga right here, right? Is something that I grew up with. Well, not grew up with, but uh, um, I was 10th grade in, in high school. So, so 16 years old when I, uh, when I found this manga and this is the best uh manga for architects by far because it talks about this mega structure that is getting close like it's it's, it's growing towards infinity right and it it's, it, it has the whole kind of storyline behind it of course and so on but the the, the key thing is that w when you actually let, let's do it this way um wait Wait.
blame blame so the key thing about the the, the manga is that the architectural spaces shown in it are insanely cool um and and they are so vast and so like well well designed well well made and the graphics themselves are insane and uh, that this honestly like this was one of the reasons why i joined architecture why, why i started studying architecture um to make stuff like this happen uh, or, or not happen but rather i got inspired by by you know the, this kind of large voids and, and so on and finally i i am able to you know go in that direction at least with a video game which is nice So that uh, whole game that I'm playing is, uh, you, you could say it's like a spiritual successor of <laughs> Blame Manga. Uh, right, back to, back to our little game here. Close that. Um, we unpause it, right? Is there like a, this is the pause button, yeah. Akira and Ghost in the Shell are also in, in, in very very nice. Oh, there seems like it's it's blue, uh, so that uh, blue indicates stuff that is very far away. Yeah 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 yeah, we can we can use this we can use this. Hell yeah, there there's our there's our ticket to seventy percent. Oh my God, this is all super vertical that, that that's gonna be a problem also it's very porous here which is scary you might also enjoy the bio mega manga since you enjoy blame um do you really think I don't have Abara, Biomega, and everything else by Tsutomu Nihei? I have his selected works as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge fan. I, I still haven't managed to find the final chapter of uh, Blame. Uh, Blam. That, that, it's, it's pronounced Blam. Uh, I still have... Oh! There, there's, our, there's our ticket. There's our ticket to to the to the end game. Still haven't managed to find the, the, the final chapter. Of course, I read it on online, but I uh, really want to have it. And then maybe one day, well, maybe one day I will get a signature. You know. This is very scary. Like going through this, we're 700 meters above the ground here. 69%, nice. Okay, and we are at 70, 70%. Okay, that, that. Okay, we continue. Like that. Okay. This is better. Okay. All right. This is so sketchy. Oh my god, no don't don't, don't you dare fall. Where is the sunlight coming from? Oh, from, from that, okay. Naked HD, that, that's an interesting thing to, to spam. Where is my little, little ban button? Um, 
Bam. Bam, bam. Okay. Bam. And we... Here we go. Okay. Um, some spam bots. Have checked how much time all of this took. All of what? All of uh, the development of this or, or what? Oh, 80%. Well, okay, 70 to 80 percent is kind of just just a no-brainer. This 90 percent, yeah, 90 percent is also going to be very easy. <clears throat> okay. Um, it depends if you're if you're talking about the only only the game or also the character design and so on, and if you're incorporating the fact that I had to learn. Uh, how to do these things before I actually create tutorials for them and start doing it. So it's it's a very, very uh, blurry... Uh, it would be a very, very, very blur blurry number. Came across you are on live just to say hi. Hi, hi there. I, uh, I I saw your your message on on Patreon. I will be uh, I'll I'll reply to it soon, ish. <laughs> um. Is there another anime or manga recommendations which are like blame? Um. Not really, honestly. I mean, yeah, anything by Tsutomu Nihei. Oh, we're at 96%. Like that's okay. The end game is very, very simple. Um, we do that. Yeah, I missed. Okay, and I did do a platform right here. Uh, whoop. to jump on. Okay, we climb up, and here's our end game. And... Here's the floaty box in the middle of this. Press E to win. E and time. And I accidentally pressed R as well, goddammit. But basically when you... I, I just closed it. Uh, basically when you... Uh, press E, you get teleported on the top. I can show you. I can show you inside of the, the game. <clears throat> you basically get teleported on the top of the structure and it just, you know, says yay 100% on, on the screen. <laughs> this looks like the ending of Cube walking towards the light. Yep. Oh, this is like the falling animation of the, of the character. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of show you a few a few things about this. Like, I had to do this, and in Blender, this is the falling. Um, this is like just repositioning, bending animation. I did this, the, the climbing animation. Uh, idle. Just standing there, chilling. Um, and there is also walking. There should be... Yeah, there's running. Or, you know, walking fast. And there is walking. <laughs> the, I, I'm not... I, I don't use... 
I don't use the walking animation, just just so you we're, we're clear. I, I use the running one, so it doesn't matter if, if walking is crap. And there's like a lot of uh, states, you know, you walk, you jump, you fall, you jump. And inside of those states, there is more logic. So I don't have a t tutorial for this because I'm, I'm pretty fresh um, myself in, in how to how to use this. But hey, it's fine. So we are done. Uh, 36 minutes current any percent speed run um, world world record for for this game. Let's jump to screen like that mm -hmm. can we climb downwards too downwards it doesn't climb downward downwards it's um kind of semi falling so the arms uh, are in falling animation and it's just uh, placing the feet like a regular walk On ultra wide, this would look great. Um, I think VR. I think VR is gonna do it. Uh, do it justice. So okay, what did we forget? Where was our this floor slab right here? It worked, right? When when I was kind of struggling here, that was right at the fifty percent mark. And I feel like this was pretty cool. So let's just slap on um, a material. Can I just... Uh, I need to create a new one, right? Or is there like a materials, mega scans, surfaces? metal am i able to just drag and drop it like that that looks okay right feel like that looks okay yeah sure we're, we're, we're just gonna use that we are just going to use that. All right. <clears throat> so we have this. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I wanted to show you what happens when you when you win the game. So let's let's analyze this a little bit more. Yeah, now I get it. So once we found once we found this area in the map, this small little area that leads us to the to the top, at that point it became very very straightforward because all you need to do is just you know climb up. So this is something that uh, in 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 future maps I would change, and you know the nice thing about it is that it's gonna be so easy to make new maps with different kind of elements and so on for this game that is crazy and in sweden i will have a course next semester where students will be creating this game basically so i will have some something more to show you for now let's just climb up here go up here basically you know you reach the little cube and then you go up and then you're on this platform right here and it just says congratulations you know 100 percent done also i want to note that each of these elements is uh, it it has at least 20000 polygons just so that we're clear about the how well op not optimized but the, the the possibilities of unreal engine 5 
Wait, I missed one. You find Blender really difficult? Yeah, me too. Uh, when, when you need to do something... Uh, when you have to do something quite uh, difficult with, with Blender, such as like animations for exporting into a video game, it, it becomes such a hassle. Um, it, it becomes so, so rough, so hard to do. Um, we can do a few more things. Okay, so I two things planned. One thing is I'll open up Grasshopper and we'll do a, a small thing in Grasshopper, and I'll show you how easy it is to change the what's the word the 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 setup here the the map here to a new map. Uh, so we'll do that, and then uh, we, we'll we'll just see with yeah. Then 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 we'll see what we do next. And before we do that, actually, I will I will show you one more thing. So let's close that and let's open up my Epic Games Launcher library. Let me show you a project of one of my students that is done in uh, Unreal Engine 4, not 5. And it's a thesis, architectural thesis work that uh, basically creates a tool that's used to um, evaluate space in three dimensions, like a space that doesn't have directionality. And I will not get into the nitty-gritty of it because we don't have the time to do so um but but just think you know international space station and problems like spatial problems that astronauts have when they uh, when there is no floor and no ceiling and how do you design for that uh, what kind of tool do you need to be able to think about the space in more than just you know z is up um, that that's the best explanation I can give you. And if I were to play this, F11. If we play this, pretty pretty simple, isn't it? Right? We just have ourselves a little. Welcome to Mobius Gallery. What is up? What is down? Right? Type of a thing. And the cool thing about this 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 setup is if you move to to a wall it changes direction. Right? So now we're upside down. We So you have like a you have a bunny rabbit here. A, a, a bunny rabbit you know those are the ears the eye the the little tail and so on or you have the duck <laughs> and basically the, the the whole game or or the whole thesis was about orientation disorientation reorientation of the human body in a space what works you know what what enables you to understand what's upside upside down what's um how do you understand that you're upside down in a non-orientable space and then so on so it's uh, i feel like it's a pretty successful project a pretty interesting one at that okay like that we go here come on there's no like goal with this project and i fell down this is like the whole level here there's no goal with this project. You, you basically just kind of walk through it and you, you know, ex explore it like a playground almost. And once you fall down, there are only a few areas where you're, you're going to be able to, whoop, where you're going to be able to position, reposition yourself into the, come on, there we go into the world for cylinders are very fun as well because with cylinders you just you we we just do that whoop, whoop, whoop. slowly uh, 
Uh, hmm. Now I'm wait. I'm 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 uh, struggling here with with one one thing. I need to double check. Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. We're good. Like it it seemed like we were dropping frames, but we're not dropping frames. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, so from here, I can just yep jump here. Now we're at this area, and in this area, I I should be able to. <clears throat> Wait, I don't think I I should be in this area first of all. But we can try to no, no. As you can probably tell, I'm not that great at this at this game, but I try. <laughs> try, try, I try. Also, it's very, very confusing, uh, but as it should be, right? So, for instance, you know, let's let let's talk about this. Oh shit! Come on, let's go back there. Let's go back there. So you know, you, you you look at this like cool column, and then you see oh there there's like a staircase and a platform, right? But you don't really read them this way. And if if you read that as a staircase from a small platform, then the big platform is just a wall, right? So that that wouldn't work. Uh, so probably you need you need to go around the other way, so like that, and then then you can expect to be able to walk on that volume right there so let's let's try this out like that so now we just whoop, walk here easy now we oh, why does this chamfer not work hello ah someone didn't do their, their their homework properly okay that's fine we will we will figure it out this way there we go we reorient reorient again now we're here right now we're here and while we are here should be able to either go there or i can show you like this this area for instance so i can just do that do that there we go. So I'm 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 just kind of orienting to here, right? So there is like this this playground area here where I can't really jump over this ledge. So we need to do something different with this. Perhaps dropping down like that. Okay, like that, and then re repositioning. So I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I find it uh, pre pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty different, you know, from, from what you would expect from an architecture school. But it, it feels like it has a lot of, uh, like a potential to, uh, for, 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 like it, it might be use, useful in the future. Like the, this kind of a tool. Especially when we consider like zero gravity environments and whatnot. Close that. Okay, so that is Unreal Engine 4. You know, with, with all of its styles and so on. And if I were to look at the... I think most of it happens in the where the hell is the level blueprint right here the colors are chosen uh, yeah uh, the colors are from color theory right guide guiding colors Mm, also like a block out of, of which area you're in like everything in that game is used to orient you for you to not get lost and it's you know it, it it does it okay so it's not in the oh that's interesting it's not in the world settings where the hell did she put the 
all of them what's the word wait did i i did i dropped uh, I, I dropped some frames are we alive we're alive aren't we right right we're okay we, we should be okay if you can hear me press one on the keyboard one okay that's good um this game needs bad version so you can uh, oh and mark says yes as well okay good this game needs bad version so you can understand the difference hell yeah um i agree i completely agree like uh th that is one thing that actually that was during like the uh, thesis defense uh, one of the suggestions uh event begin play movement component set gravity switch delay gravity scale so you set the strength of the gravity you set how fast does the gravity change and here you set okay it's just surface normal and you you, you see that gravity yeah that's pretty simple i guess most of it is coded in in in, in c plus plus I think we will be able to transfer this to Unreal Engine 5 and, and publish this as a as a proper, you know, free uh, free game to play. Okay, so that's my toys. <clears throat> we have two options now. Option number one is creating a new new game for us. Our new map for us to play in which i kind of want to do so maybe we we do it yeah yeah hell why not why not um so for that i need this open it up i'll, I'll just show you how easy how simple it is to just uh change it up right and then and, and, uh, create a new le level it's gonna be very simple um, for that i do need to log this though um do we use this one or, or the patreon or the youtube one probably use the patreon one we do that So I'll change the stream destination uh, and I'll name this CMC to UE or, or let me just name it uh, map random or map uh, 0613 um, 220613 and call it random. Save. Okay, so it basically it's gonna spit out an Excel file with with that name in that particular folder. And also we just clear values here. Easy. Uh, unlock. Okay. That's a donut shape, sure. Um, why? Oh, that's because of, 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 of this. That's correct, yeah. Um, what else do we have here? That's that's going to be messy. Let's just show. Oh, there's nothing more. Okay, so it's just the donut chip. Uh, let's let's get rid of the donut chip. Um, instead, let's use. Let's just do the full cube. Why not? Hell, why not? Right? Like that. And this is basically the density of the cube. How much are we removing? And right now it's at 87,000. Uh, 87, so I do need to remove much more. 
Um, 22,000. That seems reasonable, isn't it? Doesn't it? 22,000? Let's remove you and more. Or maybe, uh, maybe the cube is a little bit too big. Uh, let's do 40 by 40. Instead of 50 by 50. Uh, how many points do we have here? 8,000. So we can remove less now. 19,000. Sure. Let's, let's, uh, let's run this. So it's going to be um, behaving like it's crashing for a little bit. Uh, but should 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 work. Is it possible to make structure to arrange live? Um, wait, I'm, I'm gonna try. <clears throat> Is it possible to make structure rearrange it? Okay, so like animated, like dynamic structure, right? But how would the rearrangement work? That's the question. Do elements just poof, disappear and appear? Or do they move? If they move, can they collide? If they can, then oh my god. <laughs> that, that would be disgusting. That would be... That would take way too long. Are we... Uh, we're crashing, aren't we? We are crashing. Oh my god. I need to remember, I think last time I tried this, it was like a few minutes before it uh, stopped having a seizure. Let's, let's take a look at how much RAM do we need during this operation. It's not that bad. Okay. It's only 10 gigabytes of RAM that, that we're using. And we're almost not hitting it at all with uh, in terms of CPU, so it's just very poorly um, coded, uh, like very grasshopper in general, very poorly optimized, I guess. Okay, but that seems to work. So we get ourselves the structure, it's doing the thing, we do need to reset it. So you can see, you know, it's it's moving the little box through our little points and it's doing the, you know, it's going to take a while <laughs> to go through all of this, but we'll, we'll stop it eventually and, and uh, we'll, we'll start playing in the, you know, in, in, in that box um, after I've, uh, after I've, I, I've gotten tired of, of just waiting for it to go through. Um, this script right here also kind of, you can see here with the wires, which elements it selects. So it's mostly element type 1, type 2, and type 3. And from time to time, it is going to jump to other elements, but mostly, it, you know, it, it, it uses these three. So that's an interesting kind of, an interesting thing, I, I, I feel like. Also, we can constantly place blocks. To just see what you know what it's building and this is like the basement floor eventually we won't be able to place blocks and also even now uh you should most definitely turn off the wireframe so under here uh turn off uh, mesh wires like that so that your computer doesn't explode but yeah it's it's doing um uh, first layer here so i can undo this just let it run for for a while then we'll bake it again um what else can i show you uh, like the vectors also like an indicator by the way all the files are you know again patreon supporters or you just uh available for patreon supporters or you just follow the tutorials this is custom marching cubes tutorial set that i have on the channel and you'll be able to create these structures with any custom element that you that you want these are just the elements that i've modeled right and this is you know a visual indication of which element is selected for each voxel 
So let's take a gander again at how much of a structure we have. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be much more of a city-like structure. City-esque structure. Uh, so it's, um, how do I say? It's going to be much more porous, right? Much less single surface C. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Let's let it run. And do the blocks. How many do we have at this point? 2,500. Okay, so I'll let it go for like, um, I don't know, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then, then, then we'll see. While, while it's doing that, what should we do? What, do you, what are you interested in? Should we look at the, 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 the Oculus Rift? So I feel like this is the next evolutionary step is is doing Oculus Rift stuff and or VR stuff with with this kind of approach. Okay, while this is doing I can show you my uh, the, the 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 character as well. Is it possible to enable some kind of structure, strength, gravity parameters? <laughs> no, there is no tick mark that says enable structure strength. You need to do really kind of FEM calculations. Well, oh, sorry, FEA, uh, finite element analysis calculations to, <clears throat> to know uh, where elements should be placed and where they shouldn't. Um, is it possible to do so in Grasshopper? Absolutely. Absolutely it's possible to do so. But it requires, you know, one more kind of one more step in terms of how do you say this? Point cloud manipulation. It requires it would add one more step to the point cloud manipulation. Uh, and at this point, the script is so heavy already that I don't, I don't see it happening. I don't care enough for it to happen. But eventually, maybe I, I will, I will do this. But yeah, this is basically how how it looks like in um, uh, how it looks like in 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 uh, Blender, right? Uh, falling animation, I can switch to climbing, running animation. So this is running, right? And I can take any foot here, just do, 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 do. No, you should run like that, you know, and, and then it's going to run like that. Also, it's very easy to just break it, you know. So so you need to be very careful when, when you're dealing with these things. And also, as you are, you know, rotating things things start messing up quite a bit and you know not looking right so there's there's constantly like a we there's constantly this kind of a back and forth between the geometry how the geometry wants to behave and what you want the geometry to do and you always need to find a sweet spot and i'm not um i'm not an animation expert right I'm not. I'm a beginner, uh, a complete novice in animation. Um, so my animations look real bad, and for. I really feel like in the near future I will hire an animator to create like proper animations for for this little guy here, because I have everything rigged and so on, right? But I need someone who can come in and fix this kind of a crap from from happening right right here so that's gonna be uh, yeah i will i will most likely need to pay for that but besides that i'm pretty happy with what i managed to achieve by just you know learning it casually so that's you know that's good um Fever, yeah, Fiverr, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll probably use Fiverr for that. 
you think would would it look boring oh you mean a structure optimized for strength yes it might look boring if it's if it doesn't have enough resolution uh, if it has enough resolution that then it would just look like um, FEA analysis uh, structure structural optimization um, images I mean if if it was uh, if we had enough resolution in terms of the point cloud then eventually it would just kind of be become this you know like the bony boys that we have here so it would just start removing all of the crap that's overhanging and it would start removing a bunch of material from the from the voids where where we we don't actually need material to be there so i i feel like it would look cool but at the same time how many points do we have now um right now after running this for whatever it was 10 minutes i'm at 6000 points or 6000 voxels that is hell of a lot of voxels for i mean this is hell of a lot of voxels for um the, the the structural analysis script or or uh yeah script to to handle right there's a lot of crap going on here um so it's i don't know i don't know if it's necessary oh yeah and i forgot to mention that mine um my elements here are all colored as well. <laughs> so we have like a lo little city going on. <clears throat> this one looks more realistic. Why? What's what's the reason for it looking more realistic? Is it the lack of height? <laughs> Is it not uh, not being a tower? Or how interconnected it is? Cuz the one that I've done like the tower that I've done we're 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 talking about structurally um wait let let me see one one thing if i have it here where is it where is it where is it do i probably don't have it huh eh, damn that sucks um i have 3d printed that kind of a tower in which i played have 3d printed it and um it doesn't break you know so uh, my teachers always told me if your physical model holds up then it's only a matter of cost <laughs> to make the actual building hold up right that means it's physically possible. So yeah, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm on the other screen trying to find a picture of the 3D printed tower, but it seems like I have it on my other... Yeah, God damn it! I have it on my other uh, computer. Maybe here? Nope. Never mind. Where do you learn all of these cool skills? On YouTube. I learned them on YouTube. 
I want to do a character and then on YouTube I type in how do I character and then they show me how to make a character in Maya and then I google Maya price what's the price of Maya or something like that and then I find the price of Maya and then I google how do I character for free and then I get a tutorial for Blender right and then I create a character in Blender and then I go like, well, maybe it's possible to do so in Rhino. And then I try it out. And if it's possible, I record a few videos showing, you know, that it's actually possible to make a character in Rhino. So it's, it's mostly just Googling for stuff, reading, um, trying it out. And if it works, sharing it with the public. If it doesn't work, you know, at least you tried. So you should you should see how many um, how many elements or not elements aspects or directions. I should say directions. How many directions I took where I just ended up in a dead end and it never ended up on my channel just because I was unable to learn that particular skill or that particular thing. Since how many years are you learning this? You need to be more specific about what is this. Game development, I would say two years, three years now, maybe, no, two years, on and off. Architecture, well, that's more of a 15 years. Um, grasshopper, I started learning grasshopper in my third year of bachelor's um, okay if it's third year then that means i'm 21 and now i'm 33 so oh my god i'm old 12 years ago i've started using grasshopper 12 years ago and i would say my first project that i done in grasshopper that i'm not ashamed of happened in my master's my last year of masters um yeah yeah, yeah I, I i would say that so that would be three years yeah three years so nine years ago so i i've i've, I've been okay with grasshopper for nine years and the first three years i've just spent you know just banging my head against the wall uh trying to figure out what the how the hell do you use graft <laughs> you know and what the hell is graft anyways i think first two years i had no idea that the data structures are a thing and that they exist i did everything with lists and i was always constantly confused because we didn't have a lot of youtube tutorials back then Do we stop the 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 pain now? Do we start playing the game? Eight thousand seven hundred. Let's reach ten thousand, and then we will. Uh, let's reach ten thousand elements, and then we will uh, import this into Unreal Engine. Blender. I started using Blender three years ago, four years, four years ago. So in terms of Blender, I'm pretty fresh, I would say.
Rhino I also started uh, in my third year of bachelors. What else is there? Unreal Engine, also like two, three years. But I mean, when I say three years, right, it doesn't mean that every day I sit down and I work with Unreal Engine. That's not how it works. You sit down and you figure out some sort of a thing that you want to do, right? And then you spend two months trying to do it, right? And after two months, are we at 10,000 yet? No, we're not. And after two months, um, once, once you've done it, you've done it. You know, you've learned that aspect of Unreal Engine and then you do some, something else. You know, architectural design, well, it doesn't matter. You, you do something else. And then uh, in half a year, let's say, you think of, oh, you know what would be cool? This would be cool to do in Unreal Engine. And then you go back um, to, to Unreal Engine and you spend, you know, one more month working on it, right? So it's not like you constantly are just doing Unreal Engine stuff and, and accumulating knowledge. No, no, no. You, you need to know what you want to achieve with the program or else you're going to get bored I'm a really a newbie for Grasshopper too, <laughs> but now I can uh, step into the threshold uh, through the help of your video. Yeah, um, that that's the plan. That's the plan of you know what 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 I use these videos for is to get get people um, make it easier for 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 the first step to happen. You know, in in terms of design and so on. But if if you don't if you don't have a goal into what you want to achieve with Grasshopper, if, if your goal is just, I want to do um, fancy architecture um, and get paid as much money as Zaha did gets paid, that's a shit goal. And with that shit goal, you will, um, you will never, I don't know how to, how to say this, you need to have a goal that's reachable pretty quickly, I guess. So you can kind of say, oh, I, I want to learn how to do robotic fabrication, right? Uh, and, and, and use Grasshopper for that. Okay, so you need a robot, first of all. Uh, do you have access to a robot? If not, then you don't start with Grasshopper, but rather you start by either saving up money for a robot or finding um, a tutorial. And there's plenty of tutorials on how to build your own robot. Right? So you, you build your own robot. At that point, you know exactly how it works. And then you start learning Grasshopper on how to use that robot for robotic manufacturing. If you have access to the robot, then it's easier. So it's... If you, if you just say, I want to be like a professional robotics engineer, then, then it's a little bit too, too... too much, too much of a step. So small steps, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, small steps. Are we at 10,000 yet? We are. Okay. I can I can kill this now. Let's just stop the loop like that. Now this is dead. Let's enable the data dams. There we go. This feeds through. This is all nice, neat and dandy. We press play here. And lo and behold, we have ourselves a list for every single element. And it is streaming the contents. So we have it. We have it saved. And then we go to our little game. 
testing character or consider subscribing we can actually do this with consider subscribing why not i guess you are tired of looking at the bunny rabbit so let's not look at the bunny rabbit let's look at the um at what the the, the file that i had for the tutorials for the youtube tutorials so this is the file whoa we're very fast okay this is the file um let's become slower if i pray uh, pray <laughs> if i play uh it's the same thing isn't it right only that with a much better character that is that comes together with unreal engine 5 we with the climbing animation and then whatnot okay so we have that and then to change the to change this all we need to do is first of all content browser let's drop in our where the hell is it my stuff right here i'll just drop in the excel spreadsheet that we have generated with grasshopper right uh where is it here uh, map 220613 random perfect drag, drag and drop it in uh like that right uh is there anything else no yep that's correct apply it's here now um where is it map random there we go and then in our little blueprint right here all i need to do is just actually we can we can see it change in real time get ready for that so in our element blueprint i just change to my new map compile oh and that's it we're in the new map easy peasy lemon squeezy play the i key chains for this one are, are all messed up But here we are. I like the red though. Like the red bling bling here is very nice. We might need to steal that for our original game. Can you borrow stock characters motions? Yes, as long as your bones that you're using for your... Wait. Um, wait. Yes, you can, as long as the bones... Uh, that you're using for uh, for your custom character have exactly the same names and um, there are exactly the same amount of bones as the stock characters have so the answer is yes but not as easy as you might expect like everything needs to fit very well and the problem with the character that i have actually i can i can show you um bear with me full cam hello hello chat hello everyone this is me my greasy hair like the the problem that we have is that for this character right <clears throat> the leg bones right you have the thigh the the you, you have the thigh going in here right like that then the knee then you have like the proper shin shin bone going on here right so this is like accurate to a human body but then this area right here this is actually where i have my finger this is actually the heel of it right and this is the foot and it's on its um it's on its toes 
constantly, right? So my character is on its toes all the time. So the bone structure for this character is different from that of a... Also, cool, cool huh? I, I, I like this. Uh, but the bone structure for, for this character is different from the, uh, the, the, the stock character. So I can't just easily transfer the, the, the movement from one to the other. That's why this needs its own custom, um, own custom movement. Animations, custom animations, what am I saying? So that hopefully kind of answers it. Um, let's go back in here. No, in here. Yes. Can I just do F11? Seems like a good thing to do. Um, and even here you can see that like the since I'm forcing the character to go up a slope for which it's not designed to go go up um, the animation is ja janky because of the uh, foot placement collisions you can see that like this is a very good i key chain for the character right but the problem with it is the problem with the i key chain on oh, for instance here it's messing up here it's not um, the problem with the i key chains is that um as I'm forcing the character to, to go up a slope for which it's not designed, it's gonna start becoming janky, start becoming a little bit freaky, which is okay, but you know, not, not, not ideal. Yes, sir, your videos are really helpful. All of your tutorials that I watch almost all help me to solve most of the problems I came across in my job. Again, I, I want my videos not to be, um, regarded as tutorials but rather as m more like a course uh, ty type of a thing where it's not just to show you how to do x you know how to do something but it's uh, to guide you through more of a thinking process of how do you need to think to achieve x you know to achieve something like that okay that that was a oh actually actually parkour hoppa Go here, go there, jump here, jump here. This is actually a pretty fun city to play around with in. So see how easy it is to change things, right? And in terms of materials, in terms of materials, let's say element three. I don't want these to be, uh, wait, where's my, all of my stuff? Hello? F11? Okay. Um, so let's say element uh, 3. I don't want it to be concrete, right? How do I change that? Um, we can go to, 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 to materials, find element 3, open up the material here, and you just change it to whatever you want. Um, actually, do we have anything here that we could use? Rubber? That's boring. Do I really need to? Okay, fine. I will download the material. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, da -da -da -da. Quick cell bridge. It's not your, uh, is it my monitor or? Uh, do white parts lose all details because of light? It's not your monitor. It's two things. First of all, it's YouTube uh, compression, right? So, so when I'm streaming, there is a certain amount of compression involved um, that just drowns out the detail. Uh, second uh, is the bloom, the light bloom. So it's uh, you, you can kind of play play with those two two things to 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 make make it work. Well, you can't play with the compression, you can't play with Bloom to make it work. 
Uh, but for instance here, what if I say that I want this to be wood, 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 wood. Is there like wood? I want this to be wood and I want this to be like, sure, wooden planks. Oh wait, do I have them already? I might have them already. Uh, materials, no, mega scans, surfaces. No, I don't. Okay, so I'll just add like a wooden planks texture here. Add. There we go. It's now here. And changing the the material for these elements is so good. It's gonna be so simple. Just here, I type in wood. This is gonna be wooden diffuse like that. And for normal, wait, that's metal normal. No, no, no broken concrete for normal wood normal that's it and of course i can change the scale you know to 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 work better so now element 3 is going to be wooden compared to every other element right so now if I press play, F11, here we go, wood, in all its glory, and in all its bumpiness. <laughs> Hero shot. <laughs> oh. would reflective materials make it harder to render um you guys want to try want to try to to see if the yeah we, we can try oops sorry we can try um so let's see Um, I need to use a stats unit or stats FPS stat FPS there we go and stats unit stat units always forget no stat unit ah, there we go so here in the right hand side you can see my um, current draw frame rate it's around 90 frames per second and that's because i'm uh, st streaming through the graphics card it would be 120 easily here um and then to to actually see if this is gonna drop from 90 to something lower let's just uh, go to our materials wherever they are materials there we go and I will just open up, um, we can start actually with element three because it's, we are messing with it already. And here for texture scale, uh, no, not for, for roughness, for roughness, let's change this to zero so that it's like wet reflective material and uh, save and close this. right so it's now like that okay and then i need to do the same thing with element two and element one because those two elements are uh so roughness roughness base base roughness like that uh, because those are the most commonly used elements base roughness like that okay we are at oh we're all over the place that's weird okay let's let's play to see we are still at 90 degrees <laughs> degrees 90 frames per second yep works just fine but now everything is kind of glossy and weird. Is 
Is it Mirari? It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I can see the character reflections in it. So that's how, uh, yeah, it, it, it works just fine. The only way of how you can really mess it up is if you start saying um, the, 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 the emissive, if you, are start, if you start using emissive materials, then it's going to mess up. But as long as you're just doing this, it, it should be fine. Oop. Nope. Hmm. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> what now? Eh? Help. I'm stuck. Help. Oh, Nii chan. Okay, there we go. Oh. Ah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Great courses, man. Didn't know you were making a game. Did I read this? It feels like I read it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting tired, I guess. Thank you. If if I if I didn't see thank you before, thank you again. Um What are your thoughts on Unity? That's fine. I have started learning it recently and I'm still not sure if it's better if I just started with Unreal straight away. Unity is okay. Unity seems like it's more scripty. If, 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 that's, if that makes sense. Like it's... Um, there's more scripting. Uh, hap, hap, uh, you can do more custom scripting in Unity, but said that you can do C sharp scripting in Unreal uh, as well, C sharp coding. So it should be fine, uh, both both ways. Uh, the reason why I use Unreal over Unity is just because of the graphics. Unity has poor like Unreal's graphics are Unreal. <laughs> uh, but they are. It's 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 true, right? So that that's the reason why. I, ah, come on, just jump in there. Okay, I can't. Can I? Can you go in there? No, I can't. Uh, so that's the reason why I use Unreal, just because of the graphics. For a client, it's very important. Uh, you know, if you put on a, a headset on a client and you show him or her uh, Unreal Engine versus Unity. Uh, there is like one percent more chance that the client will purchase the design just because uh it's done in unreal just because it's pretty can we drop into this hole i'll drop into this hole <laughs> oh that was fun we is object physics boundary the same mesh yes Yes, it is. That's the reason why we are able to do all, all, all of these kind of um, put placement collisions and so on. So it's not a convex hull. That means I, I am able to jump through. <clears throat> Let's go up, actually. Uh, that, that's why I'm able to jump through all of these um, holes, not holes. Uh, yeah, holes. If it was a convex hull, I wouldn't be able to. Come on, go in, get in, almost there, get in. There we go, up. Mess that one up. Okay, now we're inside. Climb up. I'm gonna get real good at my own game. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Oh my god, did I... No, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're, we're still fine. We're fine. Okay, that. Let's... We can't go up there. Oh, this is becoming interesting. This is becoming a little bit of a challenge. How the hell did I go up last time? No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting element as well. You don't see this this element that often. This element type, I mean, you don't see it that often. Don't remember which element type this is, but 
or sorry rather you don't see the bottom of it you usually see the the top it's element four isn't it or maybe not no no it's not mm, is it no it's not element four i should know this i did texture all of them oh no oh whoops yeah yeah it's one of the <laughs> fell down it's one of those elements huh We should be, still be fine. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm definitely not stuck now. God damn it. In what format did you import the model? FBX. I used FBX. Because... Um, and it's not necessary. Technically, you should be able to do this with OBJ. Well, not for the character, for the... Not for the characters, for, for, for the elements, right? Uh, you should be able to use OBJ, but uh, I, w I couldn't uh, because there is a bug in Rhino where it doesn't export the... What's the word of it? It doesn't export the textures, the texture coordinates. Well, that seems like a taller... Okay, so we are here. I want to go there to the t tall boy section. So let's do this. Parkour. And again, the j just to be clear, the model is not imported or exported, right? The model is described through an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so we can't do that. Um, and all I need to import are 14 different elements. And the way they are arranged is driven through an Excel sp spreadsheet. Am I going to be able to just jump on that? Let's try. Okay. Shit. So that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Alright. That's that. Here is our city. A successful little city. I wonder if I should, should we create like a proper, hmm, it feels like we should create like a very, very difficult um, area to, to, to uh, go through or not area, like a map, a very difficult map for the speed running because alpha zero one map is a little bit too simple I, I i feel like it's really big but it's very simple because technically we could just say you know take this and rotate this like that and then do parkour on it I mean, technically, we could do that. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe we work with this like a, like we would work with a hole, a wall, with a wall. <laughs> I saw the hole and I thought about the hole. Um, and then we try to climb it up this way, huh? Okay, for testing, let me just change a few things. Um, here, let's do... Um, 300... 
600 600 600 okay we should be much faster now as as we climb up looks too easy with we looks wait looks uh, too easy with physics uh, looking at star citizen uh development how making physics boxes over actual meshes oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like the star citizen has been in development for what like <clears throat> 50 years now <laughs> feels like it at least so of course it's uh where the hell do we go <laughs> so of course it's gonna be eh. Shh. all right that is concentrating god damn it come on come on come on don't screw me over just keep going okay nope um so start citizen start uh, they started with a very very old oh actually i need to be here oh right through the hole uh with very old engine so there's uh the, the game is old before release already Oh my god, I just dropped down, huh? Am I gonna be able to move up? Yeah, I am. Yeah, this seems like uh, it, it, it might work in terms of... Yep, in terms of speed running, like a much more den denser structure where just need to go up whoa 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 okay that okay um i'm i'm very stuck here so i can't go through there because that that is blocked off meaning i need to go through there okay I think I missed a bit of the course here. What did you use for UV mapping texture, uh, texturing these? Um, I tried using Rhino. That didn't work at all. So then I, I used, uh, what did I use? Uh, I used Blender, Blender, yeah. I, I used Blender. And that worked. That worked quite well. Okay, am I going to... No! Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is nice. But that's not what I wanted to happen. Shit. Okay, so that doesn't... work. Perhaps I can do, do here. Because I have the percentage in the top, right? So I, I am able to at least know if I'm going up or you know if I have made any progress so to say if I made any any progress and hopefully no that's that's not gonna work uh crap kind of stuck here So this is, uh, I, I would say, too dense, right? What do you think? Is there crouching? Uh, no, I didn't uh, didn't add crouching in. 
there shouldn't be any crouching in, in, in a game like this. Let's try this this one here. Hmm. Okay, that that won't work. This might though. Like that. Okay. Over here. And we jump he here. Yeah. 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 That that's what I wanted to do exactly. Everything's coming t according to plan. We're at 2%. We were at 2% already last time. I think we're at exactly the same area where we were before. Cool, 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 cool. And I just dropped down. This is gonna be like Jump King. I'm gonna rage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, is there an angle limit? Yes, 60 degrees. Anything above 60 degrees is considered impossible to move up to vertical, right? Technically, it should be like closer to 50 degrees, but it's it, it would be um, too unforgiving of an angle. Um, all right, so this doesn't work. This doesn't work that well. Um, I need to... Okay, let's think. If we have more points, it makes a structure that is less porous, right? You need double jump. No, I don't. I need the level design. I, I, I don't need superhumans. I'm an architect, right? So I, I play to my strengths. I play through like understanding how, how form and space works and then understanding arrangement of elements rather than just at, at this point, right? If, if we introduce super jump, why don't we just introduce flying? You know, just fly up, lol. Um, Okay. okay, 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 okay. So I, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. So this needs to be killed, unfortunately. Um, where, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. You die. Um, let's take a look at this. So this is like a box type of a thing, right? Um, so we don't, we won't use it. At least we won't use it that densely. So I can change the count of this to 20. And then for the Z. Let's just create new series. And have them separated out for the Z. Just so that we can grow a larger column. let's just say this will constantly tell me how many points i have so let's just increase or wait is this decreasing this is decreasing them so let's go with um, 0 0.5 density no th this should be the highest um 0 0.3 0.3 okay And let's try doing, for now, just a box. For now, just a box. So how many do we have? 13,000. That's too many. Um, 10. Something like that. 3,000. That's too little. Um, let's do 12. 13, 15, 16, okay, 9,000, 9,000 seems okay, and 0 0.3, okay, let's, let's try this, actually, actually, 15 is a prettier number, 
Okay, so we have that, and then it's gonna... Okay. One more level design. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna be spitting out levels left and right. Good news, I'm so tired of falling down since you <laughs> sent me the game. That's the purpose of the game. Just don't fall, Ara. Just don't fall. Easy. Right? My score is... Uh, where, where is it? My score with that game that I've sent you is 36 minutes to beat that game. So... Try, try beating it th in 36 minutes. Sir, I wanted to make a 3D model of my pet. And it's a cow. You have a pet cow? That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. I want a pet cow. How does one even go about acquiring a pet cow? Wait, I'll read the rest of the, <laughs> the, the the rest in just a second. Okay, now we can talk. Now we can talk because it's it's gonna be. Once this reaches, um... why is there like uh, thirteen thousand points here? Oh, because of the boxes. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let it rip. So, uh, this is gonna take a little bit of time, but uh, we'll, we'll get a new le level to play, play in. And this is kind of us dialing in the, the, the grasshopper side of things. Um, yo, there's a member, a tier 2 member. Welcome. Thank you for giving me money. I will spend the money on food. Money well spent. Okay. Um, so wait, a cow, a cow. Uh, I, I, I liked that. Kitchen. Hmm? I like your, your, your icon. <laughs> That's a nice cat. Uh, what would the easy and clean way to make it... Is it Blender? Yes, it is Blender. It's uh, sculpting in Blender. Sculpting tools in Blender. So what I would do is I would download a 3D model of a cow. Right? I would import it into Blender. And then using sculpting tools, like sculpting set in Blender, I would make it into, you know, the cow that you have. Right? So with the special, uh, I don't know, maybe your cow has like a cool horn or like third horn or something. So I would sculpt that in. But definitely Blender. Is there any course? Yeah, there is a course. Wait, um, we're at a thousand. We have time for me to, to fish out the course. Let's find it. Should I play some music? I kind of want to, right? Feels feels a little bit empty without music. Wait, give me a second. I will I will also run a little bit like of a background background music. Um, how is it called? Um, let's do Bastion. No, uh, let's do Hades. Okay. Should not be too loud now, right? Should be fine. If it's too loud, let me know. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. So, oh yeah, yeah, of course, course, course. Forgot. I forgot.
I'm, I'm trying to find it. Just give me a second. Oh my god, I have way too many. Wait, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't uh, upload a tutorial about sculpting. Huh. Okay. I don't have a course on sculpting in Blender. You'll need to find one. That's a missed opportunity right there. <laughs> it's possible in India. Uh, like owning a cow? Yeah, I guess. Well, it's possible anywhere. Uh, the, the, the problem is that I... Uh, I'm a city boy living that city life Would be very very weird to have a cow in an apartment Chandra Say Sayana hey ho hey ho Workday ending and nothing done well yo yo same <laughs> same I uh, had to do some some emails today instead decided you know what you know what would be nice to just kind of chill a bit live stream a bit But I do, I will, I will be going off pretty, pretty quickly, like in 20 more minutes, like half an hour. I just want to, you know, um, finish off with a new map. Because I want to eat. Cookies are not enough. So, how many of you are doing a metaverse project, are still trying to do a metaverse project or an NFT project? Because like half a year ago or a year ago, literally everyone in the chat were doing some sort of an NFT bullshit or a metaverse bullshit. How about now? Remember when I said it's all a scam and everyone got mad? Still don't understand NFTs? Neither do I. Well, okay, different, different approach. I understand that there's nothing to understand. Oh no, Mark, I'm not talking about you. Both you and Thomas were on the good guy side. <laughs> Uh, there, there, there were quite a, a lot of people jumping in when I was starting to do the bunny rabbit project asking me to do a um, tutorial on metaverse and I was like what <laughs> what do you mean that's weird um, 
and offering or not offering suggesting that i should sell the the rabbit as a rabbit character as an nft such a random thing so weird okay while it's mm, since this is very sh like poorly optimized i mean we're running this at uh, on 15 one processor as you can see like the oh, this whole thing please please grasshopper like please 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 mcneil fix fix grasshopper make it multi-threaded more more multi-threaded work on grasshopper 2 please i need it i should do a video an update video on grasshopper 2 just to see how how much they developed in like three months uh, be since the last time i did a video just to know um if if we will have grasshopper like a working version of grasshopper 2 um Play, play, play. If we'll have a working version of Grasshopper 2 um, next year or not, probably not. We'll still need to do a video on it. Okay, and now you continue calculating, and while you're you're doing it, let's just play the game. Because hey, why not? Um, so we have that, and this needs to be then streamed. Stream destination. Or actually, we can just stream it to the same map, because we won't be using this, so... Yeah, we just play. Yeah, easy. And here... We just... Real quick... Actually, I, I, I do need to re-import it. Uh, my stuff... This, re-import... And then this compile. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Why does it not? This is new behavior. How did it just it just updated <laughs> okay sure sure so here's our first 4000 elements let's play in it oh my god we're too far we're way too far um so do we just Casually move this. I guess, right? Or wait, or is our... Ca oh, maybe our character is to... Where is our character? That's post-processing volume. No. Skylight. Player start. Yeah, yeah. Player start is at a very stupid coordinate. Ah, oh, man. We need to start you... You need to start inside of the structure. Oh, and the structure is too low, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's too low, so it needs to go up um, a little bit. Okay. Okay. PC. And then character moves in F. Oh, uh, shortcut. It, when you press shift and you move the object that you have selected, the camera moves together with the object. It's very nice. Press and hold shift as you're doing this. Okay, let's play. Okay, this is good. This is good density, right? 
And this is a dead end immediately. No. Okay, we're back to square one. That's fine. Mm. It's a little bit dark. And now I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so there are traps in this. Thankfully, there is an R key. And there are dark areas in this as well. Okay, so the, the, the density, the thickness of the structure is too high for the light to penetrate all the way through. Okay, that's, that's a problem around which I didn't think. You have character and city, so in a way you are ready. Yeah, yeah, I can't start selling NFTs. Easy peasy. Metaverse NFTs, get them while they're hot. Okay, we go up here and it's getting very dark. But maybe that's fine. Actually, it's weird that it's getting so dark. Oh my god, it shouldn't be like that. So I'll need to investigate what the hell. Because there should be enough bounced light for most of this. I think. Okay. Can't do that. Um, I've recently checked out the more recent version of Grasshopper 2 and not much has changed. Got it. Well, shit. <laughs> what can I say? Then we're stuck with. Uh, We're stuck with this mess. Okay. I... Do you know the definition of insanity? Just trying out the same thing over and over again. I'm hoping that it's gonna change. Okay. We're here now. Um, that doesn't look safe, but I don't have any other options. Okay, nope. We nope out of here, and instead we try out this area here. I feel like, yep, yeah, that was the game. No, that was the game plan. That that was the game plan. Okay, so we're at eight percent, and this is a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I can see how this how this game is gonna be a little bit of a rage game. Yep, yep. That, that this is gonna. Okay, we need. Uh, for instance, here we need there to be more light. How do we how do we fix it? Uh, probably just by going to here and saying indirect light intensity just be five. Right? This should be good enough. 10. Not 10, like 5. Let's try again. Ooh. Well, actually, that's not bad, right? Why is... What's up with the leg? <laughs> what the hell is going on with the leg? She's dancing. Sir, for modeling my cow, can I use LiDAR? It's like you're trolling me. <laughs> Just reading, sir. Can I scan my cow? 
um, that come in iPhone 13 to 3D scan it and then edit it in Blender? Or that should I take a manual approach, which would be good? If you can scan your cow, for sure, just scan your cow, man. Um, that That's how I would do it. If I had a cow or iPhone 13. <laughs> Jesus. It's weird. Hmm. Okay, so now we will at least see where the hell we're going. And actually, let's let's try a different route. Let's try from here. I think the density is very good. I I I don't want to change the. De okay, I can't go there. Don't want to change the density that much. And let's just see how big this whole thing is. Okay, it's pretty big, isn't it? Am I gonna be able to jump on there? Probably, right? Nope. The answer is no. But yeah, there's like always these kind of super dark areas where it's very hard to see where I am and what I'm doing. I wonder what's up with that. Is it because it's so reflected? No, no. Reflections shouldn't have nothing to do with it. Okay, we just go up. No! There was a freaking hole in there, in the floor. I could play this for quite a while, actually. Like, this seems very fun. Um, I mean, uh, like, it's very challenging, but if, if this was made into a proper game, because right now it's not, right? right? Right now it's just a proof of concept. This would be like right up my alley in terms of what I what I like. You know, what kind of games do I like? Okay, 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 okay. So we can We will be doing more oh. We will be doing more of this for sure. Cuz I this gives me quite 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 a few ideas. Oh, is there like a... That feels like a way of how I can go up. No, it's not. Never mind. Hmm. Or maybe. Or maybe it is. Parkour. Oh my god. Just dropped out. Huh. How do you get back in when you <laughs> drop out of here? Do you need to... Hmm. Okay, there, is, there are a few problems. I, I admit, there are a few problems with the game design. For instance, you can't get back into the... the game that easily. Or can you? This looks like a way. I think we are in. I think we are in. We are not in. <clears throat> hmm. I could just remodel element 2 to have like a door. But uh, that would mean also that you can fall through element 2. And that just sounds like hell. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, 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 come on. So close. Come on. Come on, just... Come on. Just freaking... 
Okay. I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> okay, what's what's in on this side? And also, more importantly, how's Rhino doing? Where are we? We are at nine thousand. Okay, so it's it's almost it's almost done with the tower. That's good. Because I want I want to check the how, how the full tower is gonna look like. What's up with the foot, though? Just strange. These are interesting. Sure. Um, we could do that, but I can't climb up there. So I need to do this instead. Like that, then loop around here, um, go in here, walk on this, chop, nope, not jump, apparently, okay. Um, that's interesting, also. Okay, so we reached this. Oh my, oh man, oh man. Like this first structure should be like a tutorial, right? The one that we did in, in 36 minutes. That is gonna be like a tutorial thing. And this one is gonna be like the real deal. Wait, for this I need... Um... For this I need to do a thing. I never... Are we good? No. A little bit more up. Are we good now? Yeah. My ass hurts. Okay. Let's go back to Unreal and do some 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 stuff. Um So could it be that it's impossible, right? It might be impossible. Because I'm always in the same 2% range and uh, just just getting stuck at 2% with this level. So the development for this would be... Or, okay, I'm now at 3. Uh, I do need to jump there. Okay. So the development route for this would be to first design... Okay, this is... There's no way that this is gonna work. And I feel like I've already have fallen from that kind of a structure. So instead we're gonna go um, somewhere else. What was I saying? Route, route, route of development. So you create a random structure you evaluate it by playing it um as you're playing it you find all of the bits and pieces that don't work and you add additional structures in them to to make them work i think that's the that's the way because you know you you get stuck here for instance and there's no way to to reach to, to go higher up so then you just here um shapes cube slap on a cube here
something like that you know like a platform placeholder for now yeah something like that um and i'm not even going to mess around with the um what what's the word I'm not gonna mess around with the texture or anything like that and then you press play we're back to where we ended and from here we just jump on this and continue on right oh man here here we go again with the freaking spam bots Report, spam, okay, ban, there we go, banned, should be fine. Why is no one telling me that we should, that I should change <laughs> from camera view to screen view no one's paying attention okay um so we have just made a platform there what about it yeah so the development of this would be just keep making platforms right yeah okay just jump in here figure out another because we're almost at eight percent so i can easily kind of calculate not calculate what's the word that i'm looking for i can see where Mm, where I uh, where I am in the structure just according to the percentage okay I can't wa walk on that but I can walk on this and then I need like a oh my god you yep. and I've, I've fallen okay restart jump on that try again it wasn't that and I can't use that, can't use that. Definitely can't use that. Well, actually, I could try using that. Let's try. Oh, sure. Not, not that graceful. With fame comes burden. Yeah, like 13 viewers in the chat, burden. Or, or rather, fame. Uh-huh. <laughs> so much fame, all of the fame, right? Okay, we try again here. Um, so I guess from, from somewhere here. Am I gonna make it? Nope. Um, but maybe I can just kind of walk back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, easy, easy, easy. So that works. We're at 9%. No Where the hell did I... <laughs> I just fell through the ceiling. We're still at 8%, but now I'm inside. That's actually pretty cool. A pretty cool thing. Like a hole in, in, in the in element three is really nice. Okay, like that. slowly getting there nope can't get can't can't go there so instead we go here and here we keep going up nope nope uh you maybe maybe yep yep nope uh this is Oh, I can see the top. I can see the top. I can see the top. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, 
how do we reach it though? Is another question. That's a nice seam. Come on. That that is a nice seam. You can't say that that's not a nice seam. Why is it twitching though? Very weird. Like that that red seam is really nice. Between the elements, like the glossy red. Like that looks that looks good. I will change yeah, yeah. yeah. I will change it to, to, to be red for the main game with a bunny rabbit as well. Okay, what the hell do we Am I able to jump on this? Yes I am. Victory! Victory! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Alright, so we have uh, a working game. For sure. I know it says 15%. Uh, we don't care that it says 15%. Because all we care about... All we care about is that this game... Um, like this part of the level, I was able to move up through it. So the density, mean, it means the density is correct, the, the, the steepness of things are correct, everything is fine. And all I need to do is just finish growing the level. And then add platforms wherever they need to be added. Yes. Okay. Let's make this louder. Celebration music. Okay. So now, 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 now. What do we do now? Now we do some 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 rhino because right rhino is done right all 12 or thirteen thousand elements are have been parsed so to say so we just play 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 right we transfer this as our random cell then in unreal and then real engine all we need to do is just re-import, but before we do that, I will... Um, I'll position the camera somewhere here so that you can see better what's what's up, you know, what's cooking. Um, like that. And then we just probably just re-import, right? And it's not doing anything, so I guess we do need to close that. Um, we do need to recompile it. Yep. Here we go. Here's our tower. I mean, come on. Come on, that, that's pretty sweet. That looks pretty dope. Because you get the bright side, you get the dark side, like indirect illumination side, and then you can whoop, just go up. Let's play here. And we're in this. In this tower. This infinite tower together. <laughs> we are done. We're done with the game design or game development. Now, all we need to do is create level designs at least 
at least two or three levels, right? Yeah, I think... Let's do it this way. I will create a video uh, that's going to be like an announcement video for a competition. The competition is going to be simple, very simple. I am going to create three levels that are possible to finish and that I have finished, right? I will create three levels such as this. And people, I will give out a game for free to everyone, uh, whoever wants to play those three levels. If people um, rec mm, top three people who beat those three levels will get a t-shirt from me with the custom bunny mecha project graphics on the t-shirt. So that's going to be a little, little competition where everyone can enter, not just uh, Patreon supporters, not just YouTube members, everyone. And this is going to be just me saying hi to the community by giving away uh, a few t-shirts. Well, in this case, three t-shirts. Uh, given the size of the channel and given that Unreal Engine 5 for this particular channel is not that... Like people are waiting for grasshopper tutorials and they don't really care about Unreal Engine that much. Um, if you attend that game, if you play the game, you know, one of these, there, then there's a pretty good chance that you will be in the top, you know, you, you will be a world record owner of the speedrun of that particular level. Mm. So you should attend. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be like a separate, separate video, separate announcement video. And I need to actually write down uh, what I'm gonna say because I'm really stumbling over my words, trying to explain what I mean and what I want to do. But I think everyone understood, right? I will be traveling <clears throat> day after tomorrow or tomorrow don't 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 remember I will be traveling uh, so there won't be any any streams for a little bit for a little while but I will be uploading videos I have a few recorded already there is going to be a video on uh, laser cutting actually uh, where I will be using a laser cutter uh, from from a company from Hong Kong uh, so that that should be pretty pretty interesting and you know what kind of laser can you expect to buy for a thousand dollars that can fit on your on your desk if you enjoy the smoke that is right anyway but uh, so, so that's gonna be one of the more um, unique videos uh, that that's gonna come come out 
besides that a bunch of grasshopper stuff planned a bunch of rhino stuff planned a bunch of just uh stuff of me talking about computation design planned so um yep yeah. hope to hope hope that you enjoy this and uh i will i will see you well i'll see you when i see you <laughs> bye all